so welcome back so in the last topic we are discussing completely related to the plm so as a uh, beginning only itself uh, itself we have discussed about the plm and pdm so the pdm is nothing but in a product data management so what the we both the access in a software only but what are the information will be there that will be completely stored in this pdm that is what are the available data if the users are an uh, employees used to be access this data so they all the data will be available in this product data management only so we'll now we'll discuss about the introduction to the P pdm systems so the pdm system is the use of software to provide in a structured way to orderly and efficiently store it uh, integrate manage and control the both the product data and product uh, process related information in a single centralized system so this pdm system is used as in a software to provide a structured way, that is uh, proper way to uh, way to orderly and efficiently to store the information what the information is available and to integrate that information it can able to store and it can able to integrate and manage it can able to manage both the product data that is what the already done the product data and which is ongoing process related information of an a product so in a single is central system so this is one of the major benefit of using this product uh, pdm system that is product data management systems so now we are going to discuss the what are the major benefits or what are the uh, benefits of an a pdm so flexibility in operations throughout the organization it gives an a complete flexibility of the uh, operations uh, throughout the organizations whichever wherever it is uh, required next one is enhances the collaboration within the organization so it give it enhances the complete collaboration within the organizations for the users and it it improves the engineering workflow so it uh, properly allows the work to flow in a proper way and it reduces the overall cost and it reduces the time and even it can able to increase the management information also which is the required information and even it re reduces the order lead time so it can able to reduce the order lead time and by using this also we can give in a quality product so in order to whenever you giving a quality product quality product so the in increase customer satisfaction will be uh, will be there and reduce time to market increase production and product quality it increases the production and product quality better use of people and processes so it, it gives an opportunity for the people to use the better opportunity to use that processes meeting the increasing external requirements it lift the corporate image in the global scenario so whenever we are uh, succeeding using this plm and pdm automatically the name and fame of the organization or industries will be uh, reflected in the global image so these are the some of the major benefits of using the pdm systems so next we are going to discuss about the major components of pdm systems so the some of the what are the, the major components of pdm systems are electronic vaults or that what we called as an a data respiratories and a set of user functions so they have defined a some of the set of user functions in order to follow the pdm systems and we have in a set of an uh, utility functions we have an interfaces workflow management system system administration function uh, functionality so these are the some of the major components of a a pdm systems so now we'll discuss one by one first when we have an electronic data vaults so electronic vaults is nothing but we have a further classification as product data and a meta data so the product data is nothing but all the information stored related to the product will be there so the meta data is nothing but all the data related to the data will be available in this so that is what we called as an a respiratories of this pdm systems so next one is about an a user functions the user functions has been uh, we have classified into document management so all the documents will be managed through this user functions only and it gives the and it allows the process and workflow management and it allows the product structure management and it gives an a classification for the manage, ma classification of management and it provides the information regarding pro program management this is the use of the by using the user functions so next one is about an uh, utility functions so the utility function mainly is come it uses an information related to the communication and notification and it gives the data transport from uh, from the different axis or from the different uh, sectors and it gives and it convert the data to the translation for example if i'm taking cat or cam but i need to convert those commands into the specifications so next one is about image services and system administrations so all these functions or all this process can be takes place by using this utility functions 
so next one is about what are the major reasons or what are the necessities for implementing the pdm system so first one is to implement the pdm systems is to ensure the data integrity means what are the data is available to integrate that we required in a pdm system and we need we, we should be processed in a streamlined process and a workflow and to facilitate config, uh, configuration of the management for major these are the some of the major reasons that is uh, that the uh, implementation of pdm systems so next one is about a uh, financial justification of pdm implementation see the major thing is whenever uh, in any organization so the main thing is about a financial aspect so when you are developing or when you are launching any new products so based on the financial aspects only we need to consider about the revenues so what is that revenues is cost justification with revenues cost justification with uh, respect to the benefits so revenues is nothing but what is the investment we have done and what could be the expectations of revenues so how we want to generate the revenues is nothing but whenever you are launching the product what is the investment that has been invested with respect to the product uh, development and what is the expect uh, uh, revenues expectations means that is what the amount will going to be generated in which the amount the, the amount will be generated is nothing but in the form of product selling how many products has been sold what is the cost of the each product what is the expected revenue what whether we have reached that expected revenue or not so next one is the nothing but uh, is a cost justification with respect to benefits what are the benefits i am going to get with this financial justification or what the what the revenues has been generated based on that revenues what would be the benefits of this uh, financial uh, financial what the financial revenues has been developed so this is how we can or how the organization can able to give a justification of the revenues or the benefits which they are going to get with the help of by using that particular product so this is about a uh, financial justification of the pdm system pdm implementation so by implementing this pdm uh, system so all this can be easily the data we can able to get easily available in this uh, cost justification with the respect to revenues and the cost justification with respect to the benefits so these are the some of the major advo- things about the pdm system so uh, it similarly acts like as in a plm but the process is different where all the data will be stored in a single centralized system so that is one of the major benefit of an using this plm system so these are the some of the topics that has been discussed in this pdm and plm so some of the we have discussed benefits of plm and pdm and how we they are going to implement in a different aspects or in a different processes so thank you for watching